welcome back to my channel my name is Ibka so in today's tutorial we're going to be making this beautiful and lovely dress for this style today you need four yards of Ankara fabric so let's get into it so from the Ankara fabric the first thing I'm going to do is to measure twice the gown length measurement and I'm going to cut it out I think I'll just line it so I can draft it on the lining so it can be easy for you guys to see the shockings and all of that so for this type today you need your velvet ribbon this is the velvet ribbon and you need lace to put on the chest area i've cut out twice the length with allowance and all of that so first i'm going to fold the lining into two like this so this part is open because this is going to be the back so first i'll make sure what i'll use for the zip allowance i want it to have overlapping overlapping sleeves at the back so i'm just going to make sure like three inches here the all three inches is not zip allowance just take note it's just for it to have overlap at the down part can even make this to be like maybe maybe five yes it's better so I'm making this to be five. Now we will straight down. Fold the other one into two. Just place it directly on top of this. This way. This place is on fold. This is on fold, and I place it directly here on this line that I rolled. so take note all my horizontal measurement is going to start start from this folded head all my circumference measurement right so let me roll my guide in. so from this line i'm going to measure down the length of the half hole then the waist length then i'll measure the hip line then the length of the gown the length of the gown is 64 So this is 64. Your line, your line is going to be your exact measurement. All your seam allowance for the length is going to be on the main fabric. So here I'm going to put a shoulder. Don't forget my measurement is starting from here. So this is the show, this is the guideline which is going to serve as the shoulder. This is the hand length, which is going to serve as the chest line. This is the waist line, the hip line. And then we have the length down there. So here I'm going to put a shoulder divided by two. My client's shoulder is 16 divided by two. That will be eight inches. So I'm going to put eight inches here. I'll roll it straight down to the chest line. Then I'll come back to this folded edge again. I'm going to measure three inches. And then I'll come to the tip of the shoulder here. I'll measure one inch downward. And I'll connect these two points together. Then I'll add half inch upward for the shoulder seam allowance, like this. Okay, so the next thing is just to finish the hand hole by placing your French cuff this way, touching the chest line and also touching this hand hole line. So you have your hand hole cuff like this. So this is going to be for the back. So let's put the front. So from this one inch below the shoulder, you measure to the chest line. Locate the mid arm hole, come in by half inch, then you're going to connect it back to the shoulder tip, and also you connect it back to the chest line this way. And you see, so when you are cutting, you first cut on the back arm hole before you now cut on the front. And pull off okay so next is to put our circumference measurement so on the chest line here i'm going to put a bust circumference divided by four my client's bust circumference is 39 let's say 40 divided by four that'll be 10. so because this is a free dress i'm going to hide half inch for ease and i'll put my seam allowance okay then i'll come to the waistline i'm going to put the waist circumference divided by four the waist circumference here is 33 
divided by 4 that will be 8.25 8.25 let's put ease so we need to put ease of half inch and then you put your seam allowance okay then you come to the hip line you're going to put the hip circumference divided by four the hip circumference is 43 divided by four let's say 44 divided by four that will be 11 then you put your ease of half inch then you put your seam allowance okay then you connect these points together Also this way. And you see, so from this hip line, you're just going to really straight down to the hem line. The hip line just really straight down. So this is what we have now. Next is to put the neck circumference. So I'm doing a round neckline. So I'm going to measure three in. Uh, I'm going to be using neck width of four inches. So I'm put the four. Then for the back, I'm going to do three inches. Then for the front, I'm going to be making it four. So I'm using four by four. So the next thing you have to do is just to put your zip allowance. So from this folded edge towards this side, at the beginning here, I'm going to measure one and a half. Then I'll come to the waistline here. I'm going to measure half inch. Then I'll come to the hip line. I'm going to measure one and a half. Then I'll connect these points together. the option of ruling me straight down now if it's just going to be straight but because i want it to have an overlap overlapping slit so i'm going to make sure from the down part i'll measure the length that i want for the slit so i'm going to be making the slit to be 23 inches can you see so from the hip line i'll just rule it straight to this point Basically, we are done. So we are just going to cut this out and we are going to be using this lining to cut our Ankara fabric. So I'm not going to be reshaping the front neckline because the neckline looks a, a little high and I already used some, I already used three inches for this neckline here. For the back okay so we'll just leave it at that so i won't be reshaping the front neckline because the neckline looks a little high i just checked from the style <laughs> i'm done for two so i'm going to be using this now to cut the ankara fabric So I added two inches seam allowance to the hemline of the Ankara fabric. So this is the back. So if you open your back, this is how it's going to look. It's having lining. And this is the front. This is the front so for this front we need to attach lace so i already fold the lace into two so i'm going to place the front on top of it like this i'm going to cut out the shape of the neckline just as if we want to cut facing from here to where the lace is stopping here is about 13 inches okay happy new day happy new day this is beautiful coming next so i'll cut okay so 
have cut this out now it's just you tracing the neckline and the mm -hmm. armhole then you now determine how you want the shape to be here it's like a sweetheart so you can just form that so from this shoulder tip i think i'll measure five inches or so let's do five and a half from here i'll measure five and a half and i'll form a sweetheart shape so i just formed the shape I didn't use the old length, so I'm stopping like maybe around here just to get this sweetheart shape. So this is it. So you open your Ankara fabric to the good side and you are going to place this on top of it. Can you see? So I'm going to put hemming gum underneath so that I can marry them nicely. I will not put too much hemming gum because the lace is transparent. I'm done gluing this. Next is just to put the velvet ribbon here. So like this. Then you put another one at the center, all the way to the hem line. So if you're using the regular velvet ribbon, please put something on top of it to cover it. Because I am used to damage it. This one I'm using here, I was fortunate enough to get this particular one. Ayum doesn't affect it. And it's different from the texture, it's different from the regular one. Even if you take a look at this, it's at the edges, it has something like design around it. This particular one I'm using. So it's different from the regular one. So please make sure you protect your velvet ribbon. Once you're done, next is to put the one at the middle, just place the one at the center such that it's going to cover these two that you already put before, okay? So this will be around the wrists, like around the arm here. And I think I use four yards all together. So all together, I think we'll be using four yards of this velvet ribbon. Okay. So I fix it. I'll fuse it on it. So I'm just going to turn it to the wrong side and iron it very well. Okay, so we are done with all the serrering in front so the next is just for you to place um place the lining on top of it now you take to your sewing machine you stitch the neckline then you drag up the lining to match up the hemline then you stitch the hemline and after that you come back to the underarm come back to the underarm match the lining together here also so all the way down and then the other side all the way down then you notch the neck and turn it to the good side all right don't forget in the process you're going to insert your pocket just fix your pocket on the notched part you see the way i'm going to sew it so this is the back 
okay so you are going to place the lining on top you stitch the neckline make sure you align it well stitch the neckline drag the lining to match up the m line stitch the m line then you come back to the underarm stitch the side seam and also come to this point and stitch the zip allowance so now let's cut the sleeve i'm not going to be lining the sleeve fabric is folded into four so from the top here i'm going to measure five inches and on this five inches i'm going to pull the armhole that i used there same ease and then i'll put my seam allowance okay then i'll get my armhole off that's our invited ears shape So the next thing now is just to really straight down and you cut it. This sleeve is very simple. So I can just do a little gather around here and then place this velvet stain at the bottom part like so. The first thing I'm going to do is to stitch the velvet ribbon all around so that it can remain permanently in place then after that i'll place the lining on top of it so that i can turn the neckline the m line and also the side seams with the lining When closing the side seam, when I reach the point that I notch for the pocket, I'm going to insert the pocket in between the lining and the fabric, like so. And I'm going to stitch just the way I'm doing it right here. Making moves like a ninja. I could play it cool like I'm winter. I can make it rain like a cash tsunami. You wanna slip and slide? We can link up. Working all the time, make you duller. Be a student, try to make a dollar. Wanna live life like I'm on vacation. Gotta get those good vibrations. done turning the back or the lining this is how it looks so place the two sides together on top of each other like this right side to right side then you are going to measure down where the zipper is going to stop then from that point you're going to close with your zip allowance all the way down then from here to here you stitch with half inch The next thing now is just to push this allowance to one side like this and you're going to top stitch on it. Then the next thing is for you to attach your zipper. So let's move on to the sleeve. First, I turn my machine dial to number five so that I can run a gather stitch to the M line of the sleeve. And after that, I pull my gather. Then, when I was done pulling the gather, I used the bias to pipe the M line of the sleeve like this so that I can finish the M line nicely. When that was done, I top stitched the velvet ribbon to the M line of the sleeve. And after that, I attached the sleeve to the armhole of the dress and 
After that, the next is just to close the side of your dress and the dress is ready.